Now, quite frankly, we don't know anything about the life cycle of these creatures, but they do fit in with the descriptions of other kinds of critters, other strange looking creatures that astronauts from the very early days of NASA have reported. Um, I suspect that they use some form of photosynthesis and I suspect that um, they hydrate themselves by flying in the upper atmosphere of planets. One important thing I must say though about these space serpents is that there are about seven or eight very very important uh, ancient sites, temple sites uh, on planet Earth, most notably in Mexico. And these temples are dedicated to the memory of flying serpents. And this is what we see in this footage, is flying serpents. There also seems to be a very interesting relationship between the flying serpent and these small luminous spheres. Houston, we are using the payload bay cameras right now to hopefully catch a glimpse of the Russian space station Mir as it performs an on-orbit burn. Though it will be difficult to uh, pick Mir out from the stars as they pass behind us, the uh, payload bay cameras are positioned such that they're looking straight back, back, straight back behind the orbiter where the Mir is flying in about 850 nautical miles behind us. No joy from here, sorry. Hope it was a good one though for our friends. Thank you, sir. We could not see it here either. We'll wait two or three more minutes till sunrise and then uh, at that time give you a go for KU Stowe. We're to mission lapse time of 7 days, 13 hours, and 17 minutes. This is Mission Control, Houston. The uh, Mir space station is now visible on the uh, far left-hand side of the screen, about, about an inch from the bottom of this particular picture. Okay, the Mir space station is the small flashing light in the center, about an inch from the left-hand side of the screen. It's slowly. Tell me how on the camera. It is slowly moving closer to the left-hand side and is a very has a very light flashing to it. We think, in the middle of the screen, way to the left-hand side. We think you can see a flashing light just a little bit to the left of the center of the screen, very faint. Yeah, we do see something flashing visually, but we're not sure that that might be... Uh This is Mission Control Houston. Once again, we believe we were just able to spot the Mir spacecraft as it flies about at 850 nautical miles behind us.
Well, people always say to me, you know, if there's extraterrestrials and if there's UFOs, why don't they make themselves known to us publicly? Well, I think with the space shuttle mission STS-80, that's exactly what they did do. You see um, objects which are out of focus or they are uh, transparent in some kind of way. And the first one comes from behind the space shuttle, comes into the field of view and they make their way to the upper atmosphere. That's at least what it looks like. Um, it's joined by many others and you get a kind of rough circular formation appearing. And then you get the piece de resistance, uh, the last uh, orb comes into the centre of this formation and as soon as it finds its position it lights up. And then you can see a sort of dance of lights around this formation. Now this suggests to me incredible intelligence. It suggests to me that they are saying, look at us, look how clever we are. And it's a astounding piece of footage. These extraterrestrial craft are attracted to thunderstorms and many, many times we see lightning on the surface of the planet or in the atmosphere of planet Earth. And as soon as these electric storms start, the UFOs swarm into the area. It's almost as if they're harvesting the electromagnetic energy within the atmosphere and in actual fact um, there are uh, unseen forces in the atmosphere um, etheric flows of what uh, the German scientist Wilhelm Reich described as orgone energy and it could it could be possible that these UFOs are sucking energy from these electric thunderstorms on planet Earth. And this is where they're getting their energy from. You should concentrate on the first object that appears and you will see that it holds its position. Many TV stations have actually broadcast this STS-80 footage, but they only show you the few seconds of the large glowing orb coming from the lower atmosphere. the cameraman who's operating the space shuttle camera is fully aware that the first object has held its position and after the large orb has uh, ascended from the lower atmosphere um, and the shuttle is moving away from the scene the cameraman is actually zooming in at the end of the sequence to double check the position of the uh, first luminous orb and it's a fascinating piece of video. that microchips, um, semiconductors, uh, fiber optics, 
lasers, many other uh, new metal alloys have all been back engineered from wreckage which they've collected from UFOs which have been shot down by the American government. I believe that what we're seeing with the footage from Space Shuttle Mission STS-48 that we are seeing several intelligently controlled extraterrestrial craft and yes I do believe that the flashes are the firing of some very very top secret weapon which is able to produce an electronic or electromagnetic plasma kind of death ray that is being used against these UFOs. I do believe that that is exactly what we're seeing. Get it on the TV. Get it on the TV.